Regulator IRDAI on Wednesday asked insurers to expeditiously settle hospitalization claims related to coronavirus disease under health policies. It also instructed insurance companies to come out with policies to cover treatment costs for coronavirus infection, which has impacted thousands of people worldwide. SoftBank-backed Oyo Hotels recently confirmed that the company would be laying off 5,000 employees from its global workforces. The most number of people would be laid off in China, where the coronavirus outbreak has foiled Oyo's expansion plans. Oyo Hotels would also be laying off staff in the US as well as its home country, India. Microsoft yesterday joined the growing number of US companies asking employees to work from home in order to limit exposure to the spreading coronavirus outbreak as it responded to cases near its Seattle headquarters and in California. Microsoft asked many of its employees in the Seattle region near its headquarters and the San Francisco Bay Area to work from home if possible until March 25th. The Enforcement Directorate on Thursday registered a new money laundering case against Naresh Goel, former chairman of the Grounded Jet Airways. Goel, who was earlier being probed by the ED in a Foreign Exchange Management Act, will now be investigated under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. A Paytm employee in Gurugram who returned from Italy has been tested positive for novel coronavirus, the company said. The company has advised all its employees to work from home for the next couple of days while the Gurgaon unit gets sanitized. IMF Chief Kristalina Georgieva on Wednesday called for an all-out, no-regrets response to the new coronavirus epidemic which poses a serious threat to the global economy. The epidemic is no longer a regional issue. It is a global problem calling for global response, she told reporters. But how far it will fall and how long the impact will be is still difficult to predict, she said.